The Second World War was the first war which made extensive use of radio communication and radar in military operations. When the war broke out, plans for the training of radio operators were already well underway by the Wireless Institute of Australia, the WIA, and others. The WIA started in 1910. It's the oldest wireless institute in the world. WIA members consist of men and women licensed by the Australian Government to use radio transceivers for self-training and communicating with other amateurs. A transceiver is an electronic apparatus consisting of a transmitter and receiver. It sends messages through the air and receives radio signals converting them to understandable audio sounds. Many WIA members were also in the RAAF Wireless Reserve. It was not very long before these men were called up for military service. Those not called up were used to train military personnel to operate and maintain the radio communications equipment for coast watching and monitoring the enemy's military frequencies for intelligence gathering. There were quite a few amateurs from Queensland who served in the armed forces as well as the Volunteer Coastal Patrol, commonly known as Coast Watchers. As the import of radio equipment from overseas was cut off, it was left to the local suppliers to develop and manufacture communications equipment in Australia. Some of the major manufacturers were Amalgamated Wireless Australasia, AWA, Standard Telephones and Cables, STC and Astor. The 25th Battalion from Toowoomba in South East Queensland used some of this equipment. It was rather bulky, heavy and required large batteries or portable generators. They used radio valves, also known as vacuum tubes, which were quite fragile and required large voltages to operate. It must be remembered that transistors were not invented until after the war in 1947 and integrated circuits, microchips, the early 1960s. Communications have advanced in leaps and bounds since World War II. Today the majority of components used are the same as those used in computers, TVs and other electronic equipment.